Hi, I'm Mrs. D. Math. Today we're going to go over linear non-proportional relationships in 8th grade math. So the last couple of videos, if you haven't watched them, you can find those linked below. But we have been referring to k in our y equals kx equation as the non-zero constant of variation. This is also called our slope, which can be represented by the letter m. So y equals kx and y equals mx are interchangeable. So we have this first graph, and we have seen one similar to this in another video, but we have our y equals kx, or if you want to interchange it with m for slope, y equals mx. Either way, that is the constant of variation, which is telling us the rise and the run of our line here. And our line is going in the upward direction if we are reading it left to right, which means this is a positive slope. Then if we look at graph two, Graph two is going to be different because it does not go through the origin. So let's talk about what the differences are. So the graph on the left goes through the origin. The graph on the right does not. So there's one main difference. They are both positive slope because they are both going in the upward direction, reading it left to right. But look at the equations as well. We have y equals kx. And then over here, we have y equals mx plus b. So this is where we have m as our slope. And like I said, you can interchange k with m for your slope. So y equals mx. So the difference here is this one has a plus b. And that plus b is going to be whatever our y value is when x is 0. So that's going to be the line crossing your y-axis and whatever that point is. These are also considered proportional and non-proportional. So the one on the left that goes through the origin is proportional because it goes through the origin. The other one is non-proportional on the right because it does not go through the origin. So if you have a plus b, or if you have a y that is something other than zero when x is zero, then it is not proportional. However, both of these graphs are linear. So they are a straight line. They do have a constant slope, but they don't both go through the origin. So they are linear proportional on the left and linear non-proportional on the right. A linear equation has a solution of ordered pairs that form a line. These can be written y equals mx or y equals mx plus b when b cannot be zero. So if b is zero, then your equation is just y equals mx. So if b is not zero, you're gonna use the y equals mx plus b. So let's talk about when Sarah bought a new phone, she had to pay a $20 initial payment plus $5 per month until the phone is paid off. So we have an equation here, y equals 5x plus 20. So the $20 is what she had to pay at first, and then after that she had to pay an additional $5 per month. So since she had to pay that every month, we would multiply that times our unknown, which is x, in order to figure out the price per month. So if we have our graph here, we have our cell phone cost, and on the bottom we have the number of months, that is our x, and then our y is the total cost in dollars. So anytime that we have a graph, we can also fill out a table. So let's just fill out the table based on the equation. When it is one month, we play one times five is five, plus 20 is gonna be 25. Month two, we pay two times five is 10, plus 20 is 30. Month three is 15 plus 20, which is 35. Month four is gonna be $40. Month five is gonna be $45. And month six, is going to make $50. So you can tell here that every month it increases by $5. So in order to mark these on our graph, we would go from 1 up to 25, 2 goes to 30, 3 goes to 35, 4 goes to 40, 5 goes 45, 6, and so on. And so based on those points, we do know that 0 months would be 5 times 0, which is 0. And then if I add 20 to that, I would be at $20. So zero here goes up to 20. So then we want to connect those points on our graph and that ends up showing us our equation here, our 
linear, non-proportional relationship. It is linear. It does increase by $5 per month, so it's a consistent slope, or in this case, your K, which is your constant of variation, but it doesn't start at zero, zero, because we do have an initial payment of $20. So we did have to pay something before we started paying monthly. So that's where you're gonna end up with your non-proportional relationship. If there's anything to pay other than from the beginning at zero, zero, in this case, since it is money, we would start at zero, 20. So that is a non-proportional relationship. I'm Mrs. D Math. Thanks for joining me today for linear non-proportional relationships in eighth grade math. Have a great day. Bye.